Hi, this is Major Klanger for Gonzo Airsoft. Something a little bit different for you today. I've been asked by another Airsoft YouTube filmmaker, Airstyle380, uh, about uh, how I've mounted my camera. And I thought it'd be easier to uh, show him uh, rather than describe it. And I thought maybe uh, other people might be interested in what I've done. And I'd be interested in finding out what some other people have done. So uh, here's a quick rundown of my setup. I'm using a Drift HD action camera. Uh, it's a bit chunkier than some of the other um, compact action cameras out there like the, the Contours or perhaps even the, the GoPro. Uh, but the thing I particularly like about this is as well as the rotating lens, uh, it's got a screen so you can monitor what uh, where it's pointing so if you've got it mounted on the side of something or on the top of something uh, you can look in the screen and at least make sure it's pointing in the right direction uh, as standard it comes with a um, remote control which is pretty good and and it does come up with a various uh, mounting options uh, like this helmet mount or this uh, goggle strap mount now what I've used is I've taken one of the helmet mounts and then um, on the it's got an ad adhesive tape so you'd normally strap that to a, say a motorcycle helmet or, or even an airsoft mask. What I've done is I've stuck on that on the sticky bit I've got some heavy duty velcro stuck one side on the sticky bit and then I put the other side or I've stapled that using some big ass staples to the front of my cap so you can see I've also padded up slightly using a couple of layers the very front just to get a, a better elevation gives me a slightly better angle on the shot So there we go, you can see it's just a normal uh, patrol cap in Tiger Stripe. I'll fit the camera and then you can you can see it in situ. So there we go, there's the, the camera in situ. Now something you might notice is that it isn't pointing directly forward. Now I found after a little bit of experimentation is that if I'm aiming down the sights then I will tend to tilt my head to the right and I've got this pointing slightly to the left to kind of compensate for that and I find that gives you a slightly better view. It's not, I'm not perfect obviously and sometimes I do have problems uh, with the airsoft gun I'm using the G36 has got a dual optic and when I go down to use the lower optic uh, this thing clunks off the, the top aim point but that's just something I think I'll just have to live with hopefully you found that interesting or useful I'd be interested to hear what uh, mounts or, or solutions you're using um, so please feel free to, to respond or, or reply to the the video um, but for now this is uh, Major Klanger signing out. Oh yes one more thing I forgot to say uh, do check out uh, Aerosile 380's site he's got a load of really good airsoft uh, action footage both first and third person so go I put the link in the description and I might even put an annotation up. Uh, okay bye